And I am here with I am here. What's going on, my man? No, I'm here. You can't redo it. It has, has to be this. Dude. It has to be this. Fine, fine, fine. It has I'm to be I'm here this. with Jay, Jason Grandel, guitars of Half Hearted, local marketing extraordinaire, Damn. and the most literate man I know. Illiterate. How you living, my dude? Bad. Dude, thanks for coming <laughs> through, dude. It's chill. Uh, so I want to talk to you today about the marketing stuff, the advertising stuff. I know you've gotten into it a lot in the last like year or so, and I don't really understand it, which is probably not good considering that I'm actively involved in the release process of things. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to start off, play a little footsies here. Oh, hey. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I want to start off just talking like, so what is your role in a release? So someone sends you a song and then what happens? It sends you a link to a song. Like how do you, what do you normally get? And then what do you do with it? I get like a lot of shit. Like it just depends. Okay. Some some people will just send me a song. Some people will send me like a whole paragraphs of of things they want and everything. Like okay. usually I just get a song though, because most people are kind of like you, and they're like, "Hey," at least people that I work with, it's like, "Hey, I'm like doing this for the first time ever. Like I don't know what's good. Like yeah. I like I've seen you do stuff. Blah blah blah. So usually I just get a song. Um. My role is just getting it to people that hopefully care. So yeah. like, yeah, like you could you could spend a bunch of money and spread your shit out to the max amount of people, sure. but it's like, okay, cool, like all those people might not care and you might have just wasted all your money. So my goal is to try to like not waste your money and find the actual people who are going to like enjoy whatever whatever you've made, you know what I mean? What is it like I'm fascinated about finding the right audience because ultimately like every band is trying to be a new version of something. So there's never a one-to-one -one, like thing to sell to ideally. It's hard sometimes. Uh, yeah. Like how do you find the right audience? Is that just finding similar artists or yeah. That's what I do. Um, I like, I'll listen to the song obviously cause I have to like, um, usually they're, usually they're good. So that's, that's a plus. Um, <laughs> I usually just ask people like, yo, like who do you think you sound like? Who do you, take i don't know inspiration from have a big list you know and then i'll kind of go through and then give my own opinions like if they gave me 10 bands and i'm like all right like these five i could see and then these five are like whack like i don't know what you're talking about then i'll like usually just go with i'll usually go with my gut and like you know yeah do what i gotta do but uh yeah we just test you know different ones out we see what works see what doesn't work and then we're like okay cool like this is working let's like go hard and this specific area instead of here because it mm -hmm. wasn't working here. You know what I mean? Is it only music related audience they're going for? Like, I wonder if like reaction channels because they are built of like super fans, if they are a good place to I promote do, to or I do yeah, for there's... metal. I do reaction channels sometimes. I don't know the good ones for like other genres. Yeah. Um, but I know there's like a few for like metal that are like out there and like really good. So I do that a lot. Um, I haven't personally done it, but I have a friend that will do like, like, it just depends on like the kind of video the band has, but mm -hmm. I've had a friend that told me he did like anime once. Interesting. And it like worked. I and I like haven't had, I haven't like done that. Yeah. But cool. Sick. It seems like a high level, like. It's like weird though. Cause like, yeah, there's certain things that like, I can't hit like car people with like music. Like it could be like, oh, cool. Maybe you hit like NASCAR people with like I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Though. There has some, to be, if, if I hit, yeah. get hit up by some like crazy like Southern rock band, it's like all right, I'm gonna hit NASCAR fans and see if it works. That's what I'm saying. There gotta be those. Yeah, like the person who drives a, yeah. a Ford F one fifty probably likes a certain kind of music. It'd be yeah. interesting to get into like yeah, marketing to those people and hitting totally new ones. I haven't done it yet, but. I'd be dope. I we'll challenge see. you. Next half harder. React release. I didn't even think about how I do do reaction channels though. Um, yeah, I do that shit. It works sometimes. <laughs> For the next half-hearted release, you can only market to certain cars <laughs> and figure Dude, out which stop. car is driven by the most half-hearted fans. No. Dude, I'm trying to think of... Nah, we all have different... Sean and Nick have the same car. Parker has had, like... I don't even know what Parker has. He's had, like, three <laughs> different cars. I've had the same car since I was, like, 16, but it's, like, an old car, so... Yeah, hand-me-down. You gotta find it's whatever the most hand-me-down yeah, car is. Yeah, used car life, but, uh... I don't know. <laughs> shit. I don't know what kind of car people would fuck with our band. I think it's a challenge, but who knows? I uh, I'm very curious, like how this grew into a thing. Like I feel like six months ago you were just like, "Yo, I do this for half hearted. I'll do it for a couple homies." And now it's like you're working with bands that you actually listen to, that you look up to, and you're fans of. Dude, it was actually it was like kind of longer. Um, okay. So it was August 2020, and I was just doing shit for us, just because I have to. Because 
actually it goes it goes back further so i we did we like put out our album at like the worst possible time that any band could put out an album ever yeah. and we like had all the shit planned for it and it like kind of didn't work out like yeah that's that's another story <laughs> um so then i was kind of just like all right like i need to scramble together and like figure something out for this like what the yeah. fuck do i do yeah and one day like my friend tanner shout out tanner if tanner's fucking randomly <laughs> watching this um my friend tanner hit me up tag in the description yeah at tanner um he hit me up because he works for like a bigger company that like does the same shit that I do. And I wasn't doing that. I was just like I said, I was just doing shit for my own band. Not really knowing what I was doing at the time, like kind of, but like mm-hmm. not as good as I do now. Yeah. And so he hit me up like, yo, like, so you just dropped the album. Like, let me help. Blah, blah, blah. Like work with me and my people. And I was like, all right, cool. So I did that for like three or four months and like straight up, like I was just funding it with like stimmy money you know like i was i was on the unemployment for a hot minute oh yeah dude um so i was like funding it with that and then at the time my like we had done it for a few months and at the time my job at the time was gonna come back so i was like getting all stressed out because i was like shit i was in the very rare group of people that like lucked out and was making way more money on unemployment than Mm -hmm. i was at my stupid little job at the time so I was bummed. I was like, damn, this sucks. Like, Just for like, the record, where was that job? You don't have to name names. It was at a movie theater. It's a it movie was, theater, was, my boy. It was not. It was rough. On the glow up. Dude. They let me leave for tour, kind of. So That's kind of a start. Kind of. They said they were cool with it, and then I came back, and they were like, eh, fuck you. And I was like, I, I finessed my way back. There you go. Whatever. I, Welcome. Uh, I think it's cool how every band, it seems like so many bands behind them have an employer who trusts them. Like, it's so Some, hard to find dude. someone to take time off in it. Yeah, I'm always fascinated by that yeah, that working relationship that lets that happen. Um, where was I? Oh, so I hired him for a few months. Like, it was going well. And then I was, like, straight up, like, everyone else, like, some of us were on unemployment. Some of us weren't. Some of us had, like, worked through the whole thing. So everyone was, like, varying levels of money and shit at the time. So I was just kind of just myself being, like, I worked hard on this for a year. <laughs> like, I'm fucking... yeah just sending it and just yeah. spending all this stimulus money. Absolutely. And so my job was coming back. I was like, fuck. Like, I was like, I can't do this anymore. So I was like, all right, bro. Like, we got to we gotta pause this for now. Yeah. And I had like kind of, like I said, I like, I didn't not know what I was doing, but I like didn't know as good as I do now. So I was like, I could still do shit myself. Like, it's fine. Like, we're not going to like fall off the second we stop doing this. So we stopped for a little bit. You know, time went on. Um, and then I really started, I think Sean actually, he just shared like a video, like one of our videos. And he was like, Hey, this just like did really well. Like Jay did everything for us. Um, like he was the one that was like, you should, you should like hit him up. And I was kind of just like, okay, I just saw it one day. I like thought nothing of it. And then maybe he did it. I don't remember if it was after the first time he did it, or maybe he did it one more time. But then my other friend, uh, they're in a, they're band from Ohio. They're called the safest ledge. They hit me up. And was like, hey, like we have this video, like we want, like we want to like get more hype on it, like it's been out for a little bit. Like I heard you do this, and I was like, I guess I do this. I was like, I don't really know. Like sure, I was like, give me, and I just like named some random price, and he was like, bet, like cool, sent me money. I was like, sick, (laughs) let's go. So I did some stuff for them. That's how, and and it like went really well. It was just like YouTube stuff, which is like in my opinion, like the ease, the easiest stuff. Um, So I did that, and it went really well. And then literally, like, after that, I, th- I shared their shit because I was like, hey, like, I ended up doing this. Like, if anyone else has some shit they want to do, hit me up. And then I want to say it was actually we did the, I don't remember what video it was. It's the gossip, maybe. That day, I think, you were at my house. We did that video. And that day, I had three people hit me up for shit. And that was, like, the first time I was like, oh, damn, I have like three things to do today. Like yeah. a- after that first one, like it took a couple weeks. Yep. I was like, damn, OK, I had one. I did one thing last month, you know, just made a little bit of money. I got three things today. Like, this is cool. Like tight. So I did that. I then that. I had like months of just nothing. Yep. Because I was I, wa- I wasn't going hard at it like at all. Like I was just kind of like, oh, this is a little side thing I could do. Had months of nothing thought it was dead like had given up like literally started like i never made like a resume for like a job before mm-hmm. and i was like all right i'm on unemployment still this pandemic is like going on i hate everything like this sucks uh your resume for bands just a movie theater <laughs> dude like nah i was 
I don't know. I don't even remember what I was putting on. It was horrible. But um, then in January of this year, I remember I started like nowhere near enough money to like live on. But I started getting like a little bit more consistent with it. And it was like every like at least maybe like once a week I would get hit up for something. And I was like, okay, cool. I made like a little bit of money this month. And then February, March, April, blah, blah, blah. And then I remember around the time May, June hit, my job was coming back and I was making like probably like not enough to live off of, but enough for now, like yeah. to where I was comfortable being like, yo, if I just like work a little harder at this, like I could do it. Enough to live and then so I just like didn't go back bit. to my job. I just like ignored them. Um, um which I mean, I could have done it better, but I just, I just wasn't trying to be like. <laughs> Some bird just got to get burned. I don't know. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Um, and then, so, so at this point, I was really mostly doing YouTube, some Facebook stuff here and there, like nothing crazy. Um, and I had also learned like how to do like the like a lot of bands hire me for like Spotify ads, and I had kind of learned how to do it. But then, of course, the second I learned how to do it earlier this year, Facebook like changed a bunch of stuff, like with their policies and like. Uh, I think it's like privacy type shit. So I had to basically be like, shit, like I just learned how to do all this. I did months of research and like watched a billion videos and like, did, like asked friends that do it, like all this stuff. And I was like, damn, I have to start over. So then I hired my friend Anthony because he had hit me up and I was like, all right, you know how to do this. Like I know how to do it, but I don't know how to like fix. I had yeah. to just like change certain things to make it work. So he did it for me for, um, for scene and color actually when we put that song out so he worked on all that one for me and i kind of just like saw what he did and i was like all right cool like this actually isn't as complicated like i do not regret hiring him he's great he's amazing um but i was just like okay like now i kind of know what to do like mm -hmm. it's not as complicated as i thought you know maybe took another month figured some stuff out and then actually my friend mason from that uh that safest ledge band hit me up again to be the first band to be like, yo, like heard you like, or maybe we're going to do Spotify stuff now. And I was like, let's go like test dummy. Like, <laughs> and that went well. Yeah. So I was then at that point I was like, yo, like I am totally comfortable, like putting this out there too. So then once I started doing YouTube and Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, everything that was June this year. And then since June, so now we're in like month six or seven of me doing this like full time. And I haven't had like a flop month yet, so that's rad. Let's uh, go. I hate to tell you, I think the flop month is coming. It seems inevitable. I it's thought always, it was going to be this month. It's and always it's inevitable not. flow. I thought, um, dude, the music industry is non-existent in December. Yeah. So I was fully prepared to be like, damn, this is going to suck. I'm going to have no money around like Christmas time, and like this month's actually like okay. That's dope. So if, if you're watching this and you hit me up <laughs> in December, I don't know which camera to look at. In December 2021. <laughs> Love y'all because <laughs> I ended up okay. I thought I was gonna make like like a hundred dollars this whole month, and I'm like, all right, like I'm good. I love the uh, the progression of the first time someone goes, yeah, I'll give you twenty bucks for this, and you're like, that's so much money. This yeah, is so sick. sick. Dude, that's so dope, dude. I charged more. I, I didn't. I charged more than twenty two. I maybe shouldn't have. Whatever. Then you get I probably there. should have charged twenty because it could have just been horrible. And yeah. Whatever you, Whatever. Set, you set your starting point, Made but it work. yeah, I, I definitely started with twenty dollars shoots. The first music video, I know I did for forty bucks after Dude. a bunch of free ones, but a forty dollars music video was it was a real tough That's one. Crazy. Uh, yeah, it 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 was around there for a while. It was tough, and then I got to a hundred bucks. I was like, oh, I'm I'm gonna make it now, and it was like, oh, I think there's, there's room to grow here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love that process, and also just the those people who support you early on, who for some reason believe in you and trust that you're gonna do the right thing. And you're kind of like, oh, this is my first Spotify. I have no fucking idea if this is going to work. And Safest Ledge is like, no, we believe in you. You got this. Dude. And just Dude, how... them and like Gina. Yeah. Those people are so important. Like I, Wait. I look back at some of my And then it's and... funny because like Whitney Payton hit me up because of Gina. Mm -hmm. And that was like my third thing that I ever did. So I was like, oh, like, okay. Whitney's been doing this shit for like a minute. Like. Yep. And she's just like, yo, heard you're good at this. Like, let's go. And I was like, sick. Dude, cool. I... Cool. Uh, I learned 3D stuff during quarantine, so mm -hmm. I learned animation stuff. Uh, three or four months into it, Boundaries is working on a music video, and they need some stuff, so they hit me up. I do a thing with them. Cool. Yeah. It was relative. It felt like it was within what I was capable of. Mm -hmm. Two days later, so the guy who had worked on the Boundaries video is roommates with the guy who's working on a Fever 333 video. Oh, yeah. Hits me up. You did tell me says, about that. Says, hey, can you work on this? And it was one of those, like... 
I want to figure it out because I want to be involved in this. Hell but yeah. I am in make so it far over my make head. It, work. it was six months in, and I was building a full city on fire, and like in their creative tone, and they had a lot of thematic things that were important to to voice and express, and it was just. Yeah. Yeah, one of those, like, oh, I'm not qualified, but I'm glad you think I am, and I'll figure it out. And I think it came out well. It got Fake good feedback. Fake it you so, make it, baby. Yeah, definitely. Do what you got to do. There was, a, there was a point in my life where I had that in my Instagram bio, and then I realized, like, oh, it's probably not the right thing to advertise <laughs> to future people. Wait, what? Fake it till you make Fake it? Fake it till you make it. Yo, yeah. like, let's I go. swear that was either there or on the tip of my tongue. Dude, my and, bio is way worse. What was it? My bio, my bio now. <laughs> It's like, I don't even know what it's like dumb and stupid. That's, that's, I think that's my bio, something like that. I don't even remember. I, don't, I haven't looked at it in a really long time. If it's not, it's gonna be. Or it's it accurate, be. but I mean, <laughs> it's fine. But but uh, yeah. So the other part of this, I think, is interesting is learning to negotiate with clients. Like mm-hmm. I didn't realize how much this is a business. I think when I started, I was like, oh, it's just a camera. I'll take pictures. It's cool. It's fun. Yeah. And you start getting with people and budgets become involved and money becomes involved and part of your soul is like, oh, I know they work hard for their money. I don't want to charge them. And then it's like, no, I also, I'm working hard on this. I need to get yeah. rewarded for that as well. And then learning how to navigate those talks with friends and also people who aren't friends who are strangers with crazy ideas and learning to talk yeah. to, yeah, the whole spectrum of people. You probably get more of that than me because I'm kind of like, I definitely, I still talk to people, obviously, but yeah. I used to like especially just from when I started, like now I just post like basically like I haven't done any ads like for myself, which is kind of funny. Like it's all been word of mouth and me Mm -hmm. posting shit. Yeah. So the more and more that I post, you know, I try to post at least one thing a week that I'm like stoked on that I did. Mm -hmm. If I didn't do something that week that was sick, then I just don't post. But all the shit I post up is like, hey, I did this. Here's what I did for this band. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Hit me up. Yeah. Um, so when people see that now, it's more like they kind of know what to expect, sort of. In the beginning, it wasn't. So in the beginning, it was me having to like explain to a lot of people like, yo, here's exactly what I do. Mm-hmm. Here's how I do it. Here's how much it'll cost you. Here's what I charge, which is was nothing. I mean, still nothing, but. $22. Yeah, <laughs> You're pricey by then. $22. We've moved up. Um, yeah, so now it's kind of like, Sometimes I'll get hit up by like random people that like just added me. It's all like over Facebook or Instagram or whatever. So some people that haven't been following me for like a minute will just add me and be like, hey, I like, heard you do this. Like I have no idea what's good. Um, and also over the past year or so, I've developed like a, I kind of just like made like a copy paste that I, which I, mm-hmm. I felt I didn't want to do it originally because I wanted to be like, I'm genuine and I like. I mean, yeah. I talk to people, and I still do. Yeah. But, I, like, right when someone hits me up, they're like, hey, like, what do you do? How much do you charge? Blah, blah, blah. And now I just have this giant thing that I'm just like, here, like, yeah. read this. Yeah. I spent, like, six months making it mm-hmm. as, like, yeah. detailed as possible just to, like, because the people would, I would send stuff people uh, stuff to people, and they would be like, cool, like, I have, like, these three questions. So then once I saw, like, the same questions popping up, I was like, all right, I need to add this in so that I don't get asked this. So now I have it so where I send people this rundown and like now maybe I'll get a question every once in a while or someone will misread something and get confused. But for the most part, it just has made it like from it's, it's taken it from me having to talk to someone for two hours about shit to two minutes. Like it's just, here's this show your band. If you have questions, hit me up. If not cool, sick, let's, let's do it. That's smart. It's really smart to centralize that. Yeah, I've tried certain things and I find that every client just comes from such a different starting point that I've never been able to, yeah, streamline one response that yeah. makes sense to different scenarios because everyone... Well, yours is, you do different stuff. You yeah. You do like more creative stuff. Allegedly. Sort of, kind of. Um, <laughs> so is it for you mostly, is it mostly Spotify and then music videos? Like what is the breakdown between percentages and... Like, it's yeah, like, how much you doing? well, it was all YouTube to start. So it was all YouTube with music videos or lyric videos or whatever. Um, then I started at this point now, it's probably 50 50, um, like Facebook, Instagram, Spotify. Like, that's all kind of one thing. Mm-hmm. Like, any Spotify stuff that I do is on Facebook and Instagram. So it's gotcha. like, kind of like, cool, I'm trying to grow your Spotify, but in at the same time, like, your Instagram's also probably getting some shit too you know what i mean uh, is that the spotify ads when uh a bear tooth ad spot pops up and someone goes yeah. hi i'm caleb shobo and this is our new record here's a clip of it check it yeah, out yeah not not exactly that but okay. like yeah pretty much the same thing i just use like video clips and shit like that gotcha. but, um, 
there's just certain certain ways to do it that work. Um, it sucks when because you do kind of need a, like you need something, um, some kind of video. I have had people like not like uh, not like TikToks, but like just simple videos, like because anyone can make a video, and like I, like I've, I've worked with like a rapper who has just made like simple visuals himself. Like they're they're kind of like music videos, but like not really. It's just like the same thing on loop. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'll use that, and like that's even worked. But you need something. Like if someone hits me with just a song, and I'm like, cool. Like where's the video? And they're like, we don't have one. I'm just kind of like, well, I don't know what to tell you. Like there's not. I've I've tried to do like any time I've tried to do stuff with really like basic like visuals that are not bad by any means, but it's just like just something simple. Like you need like if someone's just swiping, you need to like have something that catches them. So if you don't have that, it's like you're just gonna end up like not getting a line. It sucks sometimes because songs are really really good. And I'm like, damn, like, this is a banger. People need to hear this. And then we, like, start doing shit. And it's like, I'm doing the same thing I do for other bands that works amazing. And this song is great and it should be doing good. But I'm just like, damn, dude, like, this video is not interesting. It's not cutting it. For one band, actually, I won't say what band. They won't watch this, but for one band, they had a, that was one of the, um, one of the examples. They had a sick ass song, like, super good. It was like a alternative, like, pop song, like, super into it. Um, Really, really catchy, really, really good, and I was doing it. And their visual, just like, it was, it was fine. It was nothing bad, um, but it just wasn't catching people. And I was like, dude, like, this should be doing way better. Like, what the fuck? Like, this is not going well. So I straight up one night, like, got really pissed off, and I was like, all right, I need to like figure something out. So I went on YouTube, and I like found one of their older music videos, and I just watched, you know, I watched like three or four different ones. Found one that I was like, all right. This like 20 second part is like kind of kind of cool and it like doesn't have like just certain shots um, were like a certain way where it made sense. And uh, I like slowed it down and I made it fit with the fucking the new song. So I literally just like gave them a, like it wasn't great, obviously, because yeah. it's a different song entirely. I just like gave them a music video for, it was an older one, but it's going to new people. Like I'm trying, I'm trying to show the band to new people on Spotify. So all these new people were now seeing this weird, like maybe they thought it was just artsy or whatever. It's like this slowed down music video, but with with the new song playing, and obviously when they click the link, it's to the new song. And that shit literally it started doing like twice as good. And I was like, let's go! Like it really does make a difference. Like you you have to like have something cool to go along with it. So a cool visual is important. What else makes for a successful release? Like what other other traits of songs are there? Yeah, what else can people do when they're making stuff to make it market better, I mean, make it sell better? Get a good recording. Get a good video. Because it, it sucks too. Because then there's like, if one's lacking, like it's not going to do well. Like there's only so much I could do at some point. Because it's like, cool, like you paid like three grand for this video and it's really sick, but like your the chorus of your song isn't in key. So it's like, hey, I'm trying here, but, you know, people yeah. want to listen to stuff that sounds sick. Like, I'm not trying to be like an asshole. Yeah. But I'm just like, you have to, you know, come on. Like, I don't I don't judge. Like, I will work with anybody. Like, if anyone hits me up, I'm like, cool, let's do it. But then sometimes it's like, it's weird because I have to hit people up like, hey, I have to find a way to be like, yo, this isn't going well and it's not my fault. <laughs> but uh, nicer obviously yeah um but then I, it sucks too because then there's like a good song too but then the video is bad and then i'm like fuck like i definitely uh, have similar challenges and then, or and then the, the, my biggest thing is the int- you know me i hate my intros like if you like if any band person is watching this and you're shooting a music video please do not put a 30 second intro of nothing or, or silence or like weird like artistic storyline shit like in your video like please start this fucking song right away just just do it like I, I bring want... me the horizon can do it they could put a five minute intro to their video because they're bring me the horizon and a million people are gonna watch it regardless but you're not them so if you're trying to catch someone's attention especially on like youtube or something like you need that first like even if the song like it's not like the chorus has to hit right away like but I found that all the videos I do that go like really, really well, like the song starts right away. That's just my my little I'm thing. Glad you said that. That was in my brain. Something I wanted to bring up today. So I remember 
I heard some YouTube analytic that most people click out in the first 30 seconds oh, and yeah. your watch time, yeah, diminishes after those first 30 seconds and it's, yeah, half the people stay to 30 seconds and 10% stay to a minute or something. And it was one of those things that I heard and I, yeah, when I get sent a song, it's a similar conversation of like, to make this video the most successful, like starting the song 45 seconds into the recording isn't going to make it sell. Yeah. And there, it's a weird thing. It's like, I... Ultimately, I'm trying to bring your vision to life. I don't feel like it's also, my job not, to shape your vision. I feel like it's my job. Off. There are it. exceptions. Yeah. But for the most part. Certainly, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's always a, always a weird one because it's like, yeah, I don't want to. Same thing. I've been sent recordings. I'm like, this mix is master. Like, I'm, I'm not an audio guy, but I can tell it is. Uh, but you're a music listener. You know right. what I mean? So and it's so like, like people will be like, oh, yeah, this is, this is fine. But like the yeah. bar is like kind of here right now, bro. Yeah. Like. You got to have good shit to do really good. It's like, a tough conversation because, yeah, you're right. It's like, I don't want to shit on what you did. I love what you did and I believe in what you did, yeah, but I think there's room be for better. growth. And for us to get the most out of this, we need this growth first because, yeah, if the recording's not great, the video doesn't matter because no one's going to get that far into it because they're distracted by the yeah, yeah the bad recording. Um, yeah, anything else that stands out is like, so good visual is important having a short intro or some some way to catch people's attention very quickly i think yeah. is maybe the better way um, to phrase it just like memorable parts mm -hmm. like it doesn't have to be like there's different genres obviously but if it's like a heavy song then like like that heavy part's gotta slap like mm -hmm. you gotta have like a sick riff or something like something's just gotta make me go ooh, like that's cool mm -hmm. or if it's like a alternative song or pop song it's like obviously the chorus like has to be sick like even so it's cool too like for the spotify stuff i'll test like different parts of the song and it's crazy because sometimes, like, like a lot of people don't know, like, if they're trying to do shit themselves, they'll, like, put a video of the chorus up and run stuff with that and see if it works well. Sometimes it'll be, like, the verse or, like, the bridge or something. I just had, I did one for a half-hearted song recently just for our own stuff, and the bridge beat the chorus. Interesting. And I was like, okay, I see you. I've also Whatever works, doesn't matter. It literally doesn't matter how, um, how people get to the song as long as they get to it. So if... Dude, I've had I had one band. The outro was the the winning ad. That's weird. So weird. I don't know why it just was, and it did really good. I was like, cool. I've heard recently about uh, YouTube videos, and people will create multiple thumbnails for them, and every week they'll put a new thumbnail on just to increase retention and maybe catch a new person's eye. And then you can compare the That's five cool. thumbnails, and in two months you pick which the permanent thumbnail is. Mm -hmm. Uh, and yeah, it sounds kind of similar thing to you testing the songs, and it's interesting to think about marketing in that depth because yeah, for me it's a uh, Find the cool part of the song and put it out. I never would have thought twice. Be like, no, maybe there's a cooler part of the song or something that yeah. doesn't yeah, connect you never with know. me or yeah, that someone else is going to attach to and make it a thing. Um, last question before we wrapping it up a little bit. But what are things people can do with zero dollars of budget? So you're in your local band. You're in high school. You're trying to figure it out. Like uh, ideally, you have a thousand dollars to send off and market it and get oh, everywhere you want and do what you want to do with your money. <laughs> Um, dollars. 10 grand, 50 grand, like whatever you bring the horizon budget is. But uh, yeah, you're in your local high school band. What do you do with zero dollars? And you can't afford to contact a marketing person when you just, you have your first EP, your buddy recorded it. What are things you do to help get that and kind of emulate what your role is in a release? I'm going to say just before I answer that. Absolutely. Like you can definitely do a lot with like, like people come to me with way less money than a thousand dollars. And I'm able to do like, okay, stuff for them. And there's also, like, people don't realize, like, how much bank, like, bands put into stuff. Do but, you have any um, sense? Like, I, 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 yeah, I can't ask that's, for I just wanted budget. to throw that out there. But uh, for free, do for you have any, free, like. Before we get into free, though, yeah. do you have any sense of what a, what a Bring to the Horizon marketing budget? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, I'm, I'm fascinated no by what idea. that number is. I have no idea. The, the most any band has ever spent with me is, like, uh, maybe, like, three grand which I don't even think is a lot. Like I'm in like yeah. the lowest, like yeah. it's, I mean, I'm doing okay. Like just by myself right now, I'm not making like crazy money or anything, but like I'm in like the lowest tier. We're still small fishes in the ocean. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah. there is plenty of room to go up. <laughs> yeah. So the fact that I'm even down here and I've had, you know, a couple bands like give me like multiple thousand dollar things. Like yeah. I could only imagine how big their shit is. I have no idea. I have no um, clue. Yeah, I'm fascinated by that. I've also, uh, what, before we get into this, yes, free question. I am interested in it. But my other thought, I've heard people say something to the idea of that the value, whatever you invest in the music video, whatever that budget is, should be the equivalent on the marketing side. 
Is that a ratio that seems about fair to you? Does yeah. Does that seem inflated? At Does least. Seem... Nah, for sure. If you spend $1,000 on a video, damn, it's beeping at me. Mr. GoPro with a record limit, too? Damn. Oh, yeah, dude. We're back. Oh. Mr. Technical Difficulty. Let's go. You think I make videos for a living, dude? Nah, dude. Nah, dude. Nah. No way. <laughs> um, damn, it's been 30 minutes already? That's crazy. That's fire. It's felt like um, two minutes. What was my question, too? We were talking about... Fuck, I don't even remember. You wanted to ask me about free shit, but we were talking about big Before that, then we went through big band budget. Oh, uh, should marketing budget for music video be about equivalent to the value of the music video? Yeah, at least, in my opinion. If you spend $1,000 on a video, and you put it out, and you spend $10 on it, and 100 people see it, it's like, cool, sick. If you spend $10,000 on a video, spend $10,000. Yeah. Because it's like... I don't know. Like, you're not going to, like, if you're just, like, a new band, like, you're not going to make, I shouldn't say you're not going to, but usually aren't going to make that money back right away. Like, it's kind of just, like, an investment type thing. But it's, like, you spent so much, like, getting this cool-ass thing that you're stoked on. It's, like, you don't want it to just reach 100 people and that's it. Like, you want it to reach 100,000 people. Like, that would be sick. That's So, So drop, drop, save. Don't drop it right away. You know, take a couple extra months and save up some more money and boom, like you'll be way happier in the long run. That's something that took me a while to come to terms with because I've always finished the music video in my brain. It's like, oh, this is done. And then recently or not recently, but in the last couple of years, I thought more about it's like, oh, no, it doesn't matter how good this is if no one sees it. Like I, I would finish the video and then kind of rush the trailers, rush that stuff and put that out and it's like no you could argue the trailers are more important than the video i worked so hard on because if no one gets the video then fuck the video like you need the trailer to be the gateway drug so to speak absolutely um yeah wrapping it up for the 19th time dude (laughs) not free Um, shit no but yeah free shit so with zero budget so recording the song is good but like uh yeah i've i've had trouble with cold calling like it doesn't seem like uh, yeah when someone sends me when I get a DM from someone I don't know on Facebook, like, yo, my band put out a song, check it out. Like, I don't think that's the way to go for free no, people. No, not really. But like, yeah, what are the zero dollar techniques that are maybe worth pursuing? Okay, TikTok. TikTok. Number one. But it's like, I don't know. It doesn't work for some people. Like, Interesting. It just depends on your genre, I guess. I don't know. Like a lot of rock band TikToks are just like not great. I Interesting. Don't know. As opposed to what genres? Like. I don't know, cause he- it's weird, cause then like heavy music TikTok is like kind of popping. Like, I see shit that like blows up on there all the time, and I don't necessarily like all of it, but I'm just like, hey, whatever, sick, cool. I, th- I wonder if like uh, I use metalcore as like a Rise Records band thing. If like there's a a melody and you need to invest in the three minutes, but somehow in heavy song you can have the 10 second breakdown that catches people. So yeah. it works on TikTok in a way that like uh, that Lorna Shore song blew up on TikTok. Best example, I saw yeah. like 18,000. Like I knew about it before that. Yeah. And it was like two weeks later, I was like seeing it constantly. And I have even friends that like listen to like indie music and shit and like don't listen to that. And even they came up to me. They were just like, yo, I've seen that, like, Lorna Shore song on TikTok. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, that's Dude, so weird. The first time I heard that song, I was sitting in a hotel room. I was in Las Vegas at the time with Gina and yeah. company. And I'm sitting there on my phone. It's 10 a.m. And I'm just, like, giggling. And then, like, one person walks in. And they're like, what are you laughing at? I'm it's like, just, you wouldn't understand. But so I'll put funny. it on. So I put it on the TV. And me and them are laughing. And, then, like, the other five people come in. I'm like, hold on. We're starting from the top. And by the end of it, it's just me giggling. And the six of them looking at it, like, fucking like, terrified. Just horrified. Happening? yeah but oh man what a what a banger of a song yeah so tiktok <laughs> definitely and like reels and mm-hmm. shit um too my friend uh my friend logan does like a lot of shit on reels for his shit shout out logan shout my out boy either um fucking he does he's doing something right now he's posting like reels every single day and he was talking to me literally yesterday and was like dude i've gained like 700 instagram followers and like just this month of doing this damn and i'm making like he's making like fucking 20 second guitar videos every day uh, consistency is key it's just reels yeah so damn i was like damn i might have to start doing that or something i don't i don't fucking know um uh what was i gonna say other than that honestly bro like be <laughs> be popular <laughs> like straight up um like in my like so like i was saying like i didn't have i'm not saying i'm popular but um like 
if I wasn't in a band, like in doing music things for like, since I was 15 for like the past 10 years, I wouldn't have all of these random band people on my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and everything. And I definitely would not have been able to just have like word of mouth growth. Mm. So it took like, like a normal person couldn't one day like see me and be like, cool, I want to start like doing like marketing shit for bands and then go do it. And then immediately like me within that first year quit their job and like all that shit. Like, I don't think, I mean, it's sick if it happens, but like I, I didn't know, I wouldn't know enough people. Like I knew enough people now to where I was like, whenever I post shit, like a bunch of people would see it and then hit me up and be like, yo, I want to work with you. Um, so just like having friends in not even necessarily like music adjacent things, but just like having friends that like, like what you do. Cause there are even like, I won't name names, but you, you definitely know there, there are bands that are, you know, that can, you can get to a certain point, even like just as a local band where if, like your band could be really bad. Like you could like not be good, but you're just a popular ass person. I just spit all over your mic. I'm sorry. Good dude. I want it. But there. you're a popular. an NFT for sale guys. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> but you're a popular ass person. And even though your band's not good, like everyone just really likes you. Cause maybe you're just like a cool person or whatever. So mm-hmm. like they're going to support you and they're going to share your shit. And there's, I could definitely off the top of my head think of like three or four from like maybe like New England over the past however many years. I'm like, yo, like they really weren't good, but they got kind of far just off of being like likable people and just being nice and whatnot. Um, so I would just say like, I know that sounds, that sounds so like, um, like just shitty, just like, just like be popular, but like I... for real, like dead ass, like you just like. Try to just get a lot of friends, like, but like actual friends, or like go to shows and just like talk to people. Um, don't like fucking cold message people because that's stupid. I don't know. It's wild. I've been laughing through your story because you were kind of describing like, yeah, you need a network to get into it. You do, kind of. You just need. I to- got into this exactly what you were describing as like I just showed up one day and I was like, I'm gonna figure this out, and I pretty quickly realized I was like, oh, I don't have anyone to take pictures. I of. saw you at literally. And- Every single it show I went that. to for like two years. It was that. It was just showing up everywhere until and now I, I don't met see you people. At any shows. You, Fire. You absolute. Um, uh, but cocky. I'm just kidding. Damn, dude. <laughs> I'm just Bro, kidding. Cut. I'm just no. kidding. Um. Yeah, no, it is that. And then I think for me, it was really tough because I wanted to be at shows, and I hoped that just sending my photos over would be enough. And it, ultimately, it wasn't. I learned that I had to go out of my way to make friends with people and to chat with people. Uh, And my one tip that I would advise someone who is, yeah, the $0 band who's trying to figure out how the fuck do I grow this band uh, is don't be afraid to give compliments. Just go up to someone who performed well and be like, yo, I liked your set. Yeah. And just be nice. Start like, a just, conversation. <laughs> like just being nice is so hard to come by sometimes in this. Dude, of you everyone know how many just times? In their own thing. And if you can step out of your own thing for one second and appreciate someone else's thing, like it's going to go well. Yeah. It's going to help. Dude, there's been so many times just even like before I started doing this shit, just being in a band and just trying to do shit like that. Like just literally just like the – I know there's like the generic like, hey, dude, nice set. Like shit, which is – you could be genuine about it or you could not, but like if you're genuine about it and you like go up to someone and just like say that and like try to start a conversation nine times out of 10, it like goes pretty well. And usually like I would get home that day and be like, yo, that dude was cool. Like, let me mm-hmm. find his, like his Instagram or like his Facebook or whatever. I'm scared of most like, people. I but most follow of them. them are cool. And then I follow them on Instagram and then they like hit me back like immediately. Yeah. And I'm just like, like sick. Cool. Now I have this person and he's going to see everything that I fucking post. If he, mm. you know, Unless yeah. he doesn't use his shit, but I mean, you just slow, that's slow the, game. That's the risk you take. I don't know. <laughs> so risk of doing business. Yeah, Jay, my man, it was an honor having you here. A true pleasure. I feel, I feel blessed to have a wow. former presidential candidate in my in my Stop, presence. Um, anything uh, you want to promote before we get out of here? How do people find you if someone wants to promote their music with the Jay Bird Industries? Who do they contact? How do they do? Dude, I don't have a name. That's kind of tight fire i have to make one for taxes like i'm not gonna post it anywhere yeah. it's just gonna be me yep but for like tax purposes and all that i shit, promise the irs i'm not actually make it this far. i'm actually gonna make it jaybird industries i'm I, very glad you just said that because that's respect. just funny big respect and that's just gonna be what's on my fucking taxes every year <laughs> it's just so start, much respect. once i do it this year yes <laughs> press f and chat um but yeah how do people contact you before jaybird industries is officially launched um, and yeah what do you got what do you got going on with half-hearted I well, I'll do half hearted first. We cool. just dropped an EP. 
like two months ago. Um, so that's out there. Just go go check that out. You did a video for that, which came out really cool. I um, that. got a bunch. We got a billion more songs sitting around. So whichever one we decide to do next, will will come out. That's exactly um, where I ended with Sean. Trying it's to so do funny some, trying to that. do some shows and shit soon. So we'll see how that goes. Fire. Um, and then about all this stuff, literally, I hate email more than anyone in the world. Um, I don't care about being professional. Like, I don't know why people think email is like, oh, I have to email him. He's he's like a, a, a business guy. Like, cool. Like, no, like, DM me on Instagram, Jason Grandel on everything. Add me on Facebook. I will add you. I just add random people all fucking day. Like, I don't <laughs> care. If you look like you do anything music related, I'm just going to add you because I'm just like, okay, cool. Like, music person. Cool. Fire. Um, just DM me. Like, that's about it. Slide in them DMs, boys. I'll respond. Unless you get stuck in my message request, but then like that's your fault, bro, because you didn't add me. You know how many people hit message me and they don't add me, so I don't see it, and then like I'll I'll get a notification like you have six message requests, and I'll go in and shit from like three months ago, and I'm just like, be my Bye. friend, dude. Like, come on, like you don't want to be my friend, you just want to message me. Like, come on, like nah, come on, chill. Alrighty, my man. Thank you. <laughs> Cut. We out of this, baddie. Get intros, when so that'll take me a try. Are you um, just gonna press? Are you just gonna look at this footage and be like, "All right, this seems like a good time"? No, to start. I'll, I'll, I'll roll it in an intro. Nah, nah, um, nah. Just start it yeah, here. I'll go